Hi everyone. So today we are going to learn the introduction of UML, Unified Modeling Language. Actually our subject, our course is belongs to Object Oriented Analysis and Design. So the Object Oriented Analysis Design uses UML, Unified Modeling Language. What is an Unified Modeling Language? Let me see. The Unified Modeling Language, UML, we simply call, is a standard language for writing software blueprints. Up to now, we have analyzed the document in the um, life cycle model, analyzing the document and also the document will be uh, analyzing one particular software. After analyzing that software, we have to translate that software into documentation, SRS document. After that, uh, we have to divide that document into or translate the document into design phase. At this design phase, we have to give the document into pictorial representation. For that, we are using UML. UML will, will uh, represent, UML is a language, Unified Modeling Language, which writing the software, what it tells you, which writing the software into blueprints design view, blueprints of the system. The UML is appropriate for modeling systems ranging from enterprise information system to distributed. How we are using UML is to web based applications and even real time embedded systems are also we are going to develop. The UML is uh, simply say that process independent. What is the UML? UML is the process independent. What is being on there in that particular software? Depending upon the process, we are going to develop different different kind of uh, diagrams. Okay. Next, uh, UML applications. Where we use this UML? Where we use the UML is intended primarily for software intensive systems. Software intensive systems. Uh, it has been used effectively for such domains. What are the domains this UML is for is enterprise information system and also banking and financial services, telecommunication services, transportation, defense services and medical electronic scientific and distributed systems also we are using this particular UML. Unified Modeling Language. It is a language which gives us a blueprint of the software. Blueprint that is diagrammatical representation of the documentation. Right. And <coughs> see building blocks of uh, UML. What are building blocks of UML? Building blocks of UML. The UML consists of three kinds of building blocks. We compulsory know these three kinds of building blocks. If we know about complete these three kinds of building blocks, we have to complete the object oriented analysis and design course. Right. Building blocks, first one is the things. Things. These are all the abstractions that are first class citizens in the model. If you want to design a model, a system, you have to observe that. The things is the first one. Things is nothing but the abstractions, things, components, symbols, things. Relationships, second one is, relationships is nothing but tie the above things together. Relationship, abstractions are there, that means different symbols are there. If you, if you put a symbol uh, there and there and there, no use. If you connect all these symbols, there, there is a use or what is going on in that system. For that connection, you use relationships. You use relationships. And I take diagrams. What are diagrams? You use the things, you use the relationships. Group all these things and relationships, you simply call as a diagram. Grouping intensive collection of things. Grouping intensive collection of things, we simply say that, uh, we simply say that uh, diagrams, diagrams. Okay. Things, relationships and the diagrams are the building blocks of the UML. Remember, things, relationships and also diagrams are the 
building blocks of the UML, Unified Modeling Language using uh, with the help of Unified Modeling Language we establish a object to analysis design. See building blocks of the UML, see building blocks these things, relationships, diagrams, things, relationships, diagrams. See here things are divided into several types, things are divided into several types. First one is structural things, structural things, structural things, one minute, structural things, what is going on, then, okay, now structural things, next behavioral things, grouping things, annotational things, structural things, behavioral things, grouping things and annotational things. Whereas if you take relationships, dependency relationship, generalization relationship, association relationship and also realization relationship. You can use diagrams, use case diagram, classes diagram, object diagram, sequence diagram, collaboration diagram, state chart, activity diagram, component diagram, deployment diagram. Nine diagrams are there. You have to remember these uh, building blocks of the UML, you completely known about the object to analysis and design. See here things, structural things are the, what is the class, how do we represent class, what is interface, how do we represent interface. Likewise we have to see about all these things, structural things, things, behavioral things, these are all the behavior, interaction and state machine interaction, connections, or what is going on to the next when you give input to like this. Grouping things, packages are the grouping things and also annotational things, note, note is the annotational thing. We have to see the structural behavioral grouping annotational things in a diagrammatical symbols, diagrammatical symbols like we see. <coughs> things in the UML things in the UML, first thing, four kinds of the things, structural things, what are the structural things available, see, structural things are the things, nouns of the UML model, what are structural things, nouns of the UML model, see structural things, seven kind of nouns are structural things available in UML, class, interface, collaboration, use case, active class, component and node, seven kind of structural things are there, structural things, that is things, symbols we have to know here. See, class, you know class symbol, what is a class? Uh, see, a class is a description of a set of objects that share the same attributes, operations, responsibilities and semantics, responsibilities and methods semantics, meaning of the class you have to see. So a class implements one or more interfaces. Uh, see this is the name of the class, this is the, these are all the attributes of the class, these are all the operations of the class. You may include another responsibilities of the class, responsibilities. Responsibilities. Next, responsibilities is also available at the end of the class. You may write or you may not write. Okay. This is about the structure of the class. Interface. Second one is the interface. We are seeing now structural things. Structural things are the seven types. First one is class is over. Second one is the interface. Interface is the collection of operations that specify a service of a class or the component. Interface. What is that interface? Collection of operations, interface contain collection of operations, specify service to whom, to the class or the, to the component also, component also, to whom it service, it, it, it services to the class or component. An interface uh, describes the externally visible behavior of that element. What is an uh, interface? Externally visible behavior of the an interface defines a set of operations, specifications, but uh, 
never a set of operations implementation only which shows the set of operations and specifications but never a set of operations implementation only which shows specifications only graphically an interface is represented as a circle with its name circle with its name just we have to write a circle and write a name for example uh, is i spelling i spelling as like this is a interface interface this is an interface interface what is an interface it is defines a set of operation but it is not implementing those operations next one third one collaborations class structure we completed second one is interface structure we completed third one is collaborations what is a collaboration a collaboration is nothing but a combination a collaboration defines an interaction and an a society of roles and other elements that work together what it combines it is an interaction and is a society of roles and other elements that work together that work together to provide some cooperative behavior cooperative behavior what is this uh, this is a collaboration collaboration cooperative behavior it represent therefore collaboration uh, have structural as well as behavioral dimensions collaboration uses structural dimensions on the uh, behavioral dimensions also it uses okay graphically collaboration is represented as an ellipse with the dash lines ellipse with the dash lines usually included only its name so how it uh, how it shows dash ellipse dash ellipse which contain some name which contain some name what is this this is the collaboration collaboration symbol collaboration symbol okay next <coughs> use case fourth one is the use case fourth one is this a use case is a description of set of sequences of actions that a system performs use case is the description of set of sequence of actions set of sequence of actions that system performs which results in a value of that particular actor set of sequence of actions a use case is used to structure the behavioral things in a model use case actually structuring of course we are using but it tells the behavior thing okay so actually the use case is realized by a collaboration actually collaboration we will write a dash line uh, this this is the vitra vitra mari is the use case so realization of uh, collaboration is simply called as use case this is representing the use case ellipse symbol that has a name okay and next uh, the remaining three things active classes components and nodes all are uh, like a class that is they also describe a set of objects that share the same attributes operations and also relationship active classes next one an active class is a class whose object to work one or more process or other class and therefore can initiate control activity of the class active class is like a same class which has a control activity active class initiate and control the flow of activity while passive class stores the service serve other classes so we uh, illustrate active classes with the thicker border line simple class will be uh, representing single uh, light line whereas if you uh, draw the active class active class thick line you have to represent active class as a thick line okay graphically an active class is like this so this is the thick line thick line thick line active class same as it working uh, as like a class but the lines of active class is thick thick line thick line okay so uh, next uh, the remaining elements component and nodes so what component component is a physical and replaceable part of the system 
compound is nothing but a physical and replaceable part of the system. So, which provides a realization of set of interfaces. A component represents the physical packaging or logical elements such as classes or interfaces or collaborations which represents physical parts. This is the component symbol. This is the component symbol. Order form dot java only component representation, physical part which has a different kind of physical packages, logical elements, classes, interfaces and collaborations also combiningly. Uh, the component is like this. Next one, last one is node. What is a node? A node is physical element that exists at runtime. Where it available? At runtime physical elements node and represents a computational resources. Generally having some memory is also there. Having some memory. Node is having some memory. So and also processing capability is also there. Processing capability is also there with the node. A set of components may reside on a node and may also migrate from one to node, from one node. Okay. So this is the symbol of the node. This is the symbol which has a processing capability and which has the some memory. Okay, some memory. This is the node. Okay, with this uh, we completed a structural things, several kind of structural things. So in this class we completed we completed a building blocks of a UML language, structural things, things under things, structural things is completed. So three major building blocks, things, relationships and diagrams. Under things we have another um, uh, different side things are there. Among those we completed only one, things are Structural things we completed, seven kind of structure. With this we completed. Thank you very much.